Hi guys, how are you all doing? Um, if you've been watching my videos recently, you will have heard me mention on several occasions these woodworking and power tool shows which crop up in the UK, you know, a couple of times a year. Now, I've just been to the Midlands Woodworking and Power Tool Show. Uh, I've got a few things, so I'll show you those in a little while. But I thought instead of me keep telling you about these things, I'd take my camera and I'd show you. So check this out. Okay, so we've just arrived at the Newark Midlands Woodwork Power Tool Show. Finally, it was a two hour drive from London, which was a pain in the backside. My satin have died, so getting here was a little bit ropey. But we're here now and it's all good fun. So come with me and I'll take you and show you what goes on at these places. Let's go. Where's my keys? Okay, so as we enter the exhibition centre, we see Makita to our right, Ashley Isles across from us, and Trend to our left. I've got my eye on one of these pocket hole jigs today, so we'll come back and see them later about that. Here we have a man demonstrating the Veritas shooting plane. This section is kind of a bit of everything. Kind of like a big car boot sale, but it's awesome for just picking up little bits and bobs. You recognise those clamps? We've got loads of those, haven't we? And if you're interested in wood turning or lathe work, we have a man here giving a demonstration. And just across from him here, we have a stall offering various glues for sale and the wood turning supplies. Over here we seem to have some kind of home craft stall and a gentleman giving a demonstration on axe work. Then we come to the Triton stand. I do like Triton stuff, it looks fairly nice, I don't have any but um, I hear good things about it. Craig at the back for pocket hole stuff. And spinning around we have Andy King who you may recognise from various um, woodwork magazines and TV work doing a furniture demonstration. And then we come to the festival stand where they charge you £20 just to have a look. So I didn't stay here very long so I can't afford any of it. But there's a gentleman here who clearly can. He's getting a demonstration on what I think is a domino machine. And here we've got Airwin on display. We all know Airwin and what they sell and some machinery. We've got a lady just across the road offering some home craft products and display items. I think she's also partaking in a little hiography action. Whatever keeps her happy. Anyway, moving on. And just up the road and around the corner we have the record power stand offering their range of machinery, planar thicknesses, air filtration, several ranges of band saws. And just across from them we have the Woodworkers Workshop. A uh, great little store, you can find them online, that you can buy all sorts of uh, woodworking related products from them. Um, I've used them myself, I think they're great. And alongside Peter Sefton and his furniture school, here he is giving a demonstration to somebody. Chanwood Power Tools also on display here, offering their range of machinery from lathes, table saws, planar thicknesses, band saws, you name it. There's Bessie clamps, very good but very expensive. And moving down the line, back to the home stretch where we started, back to the Makita stand. 
There is lots more on display, I didn't get a chance to record it all, but you get the general idea. Alright then, so that was that. So now you know what they're all about, I'll kind of stop harping on about it a little bit. But if you haven't been, check these out, they're awesome. So I did some shopping while I was there, and I did most of my spending at the Trend stand this year. Now I didn't go with anything particular to buy, I just went for a, a good nosy about and see if there was a deal worth having on something that I kind of fancy but don't particularly need. So this is what I came up with. I got myself four more of these, which were two for a fiver, and a bottle of super glue activator stuff that was four quid. So these were just from the sort of uh, general general supplies kind of stand. Nothing that exciting, but stuff we all need. So I picked up those from the woodworkers workshop I got myself two nice rulers I got a 15 centimeter and a 30 centimeter and I think these that one was eight pounds the large one and 435 for the smaller one and investigating them further um, but just very very nice and easy to read and compared to my other one which is a bit thin cheap and flimsy the difference is very very easy to see and the same applies for the small one now on my old one it was marked in half millimetres all the way up to 100 mil, which I find half millimetres quite a pain in the backside. So on the new one, it's half millimetres on the top, yet whole millimetres on the bottom. So I have the option of either or from the full width of the ruler. And on the opposite side, we have inches, which for the odd occasion that I need to use inches, that's there as well. So I've got some nice, nice new rulers. I'm very happy with those. And from the trend stand, I got myself some of these non slip locks. We've all kind of seen them. You know, so you can put your work on those and they interlock with each other so you can break them up or interlock them to have one large block so you can put your work piece on there maybe do some routing on it sand the top without kind of having to physically clamp it down so again I thought there was a good value for just nine quid the other thing I got was a little diamond file stone sharpener thing it's good for just running your router cutters against all I've got at the moment is I've had those cheap plastic backed uh, diamond plates you know for a couple of quid from a pound shop or something like that uh, you know they just fall to pieces so other than that I've got like a large stone which is sort of too big to get your router cutter against it so I was looking for something sort of small and pocket sized which you could just sort of sharpen and clean up the edge of your router cutters and then finally, I have succumbed to pocket holes. I have nothing against pocket holes, never have had. I've just never used them really myself. But um, I can see lots of, lots of good reasons to use them. Basically just for time and efficiency. So I had a look at this. And uh, for £59, which I think is very good value... Um, I think the cheapest I've seen this is for about 62. I think Screwfix do it at 65. Uh, I think I've seen it up to about 83 pounds in places. So for 59 quid, I thought that was as good as it's going to get. So in here, you get the the main jig. Obviously, it comes with one of these clamps. 
that I'm sure we're all kind of familiar with nowadays. Uh, you've got your drill bit, your driver bit, a short driver bit, some Allen keys, your locking collar, a couple of screws, and then a bag of um, pocket hole screws. So I'm going to play with that. I'm going to set it up on a little jig and get knocking some stuff together. So I thought that was pretty good value for 59 quid. So that's basically everything I got. That's what these shows are all about. I hope you check them out. If you haven't been before, please do so. There was a time I didn't, and I'm glad I do now. So I hope this video helps, and get yourselves down there next year. Happy woodworking.